Welcome back. This drizzly Tuesday here in this audio valley. For it is a sad day. Because it'll be one of the last. Ramsey. In 300 hours. Save game says 200, but load times don't get count. And reloads don't get count. And raging and looking up in the wiki doesn't get count and... Yeah, it was fun. Also, the thing with the patched scarecrows doesn't work. I always get an error from Sampy saying, PNG not found. Hello, Piero. Remember the old orchard to the east? Can you meet with me and some others there around noon, please? Nothing shady. Just some of those loose ends that needs tying up. And I'd like you to bear witness. You don't burn that house down. Lavro's living there and Katharina wants to live there. Put down that lighter. Yeah, so this is the last few natural events. Not many are left. And then it is time to play around with the console. It's right now I have to play around with the console because normally I should now see some quests that need a rainy day. And I think it's not all to do with Harvey's clinic. But there's always just one way to find out. Is there? Going in. Ooh, that came by surprise. Going in and keep your grubby mittens off the return scepter. I want to know how often I have to... Hmm. The tests all came back negative, but I can recommend you to a doctor in Sousa City if you like. Uh, it's cured! Your condition is just outside my level of expertise. <sighs> it would be better if you just saw a specialist. I've seen a specialist in Suzu City. They couldn't figure it out either. Oh, it's such an... Oh, oh yeah, probably it says uh, not summer, not winter and all that stuff. Well, then can I get your resources on... Well, then I can get your resources on pain management and mental health? I know it's not the answer you want, but I think you could benefit from it. And perhaps a service dog is in order. They can be trained specifically to help you with your problems. I want a service cat. Oh, I forgot to do the nasally Harvey voice, did I? Hero! Hero, this isn't a good time. Could you wait in the waiting room, please? Hero's fine are just about... No, wait, 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 that's a repeat. There's more to discuss. No, there isn't. Wait, why? Why, why is this running again? Yeah, it's a five-star event. I don't know why that was running. Hmm, I wonder. Can I get her as a roommate? Luna doesn't want to marry you right now. How about the bouquet? I'm going to do with the courtesy which... Oh, I hate doing the courtesy of pretending of tripping and fell into while carrying a bouquet meets for someone else. Because I don't want this from anyone, okay? Okay. Thunder and lightning and everything. How do I get to be roommate? Oh well, but I found something else I can do. I can get my grubby mittens into Irene and Sane. <laughs> and the same I will do for Anton and... Oh... What was the good doctor's lady name? I forgot. But, oh, most of the quests are now moved from Rosa over to Vivian. There's only the not married quests. I there's a lot of if you are um 
say it to me. Um, ah, brain. The the two timing event where you got if you got ten relationship with all the vanilla bachelors, yeah, they find out about it. And if you got a lucky rabbit's foot in your paw, they are only pissed for I think two weeks. And if you don't, they are pissed for more than a month, and you lose way more health. So being lucky helps you. It's not a get out of jail free card. Paula, Paula was the other one. So Anton, Paula, Irene, and Zane will just be set up to married. And then we got those as well. And then I say too much, and we get, we can pack Sterling back in. Anton, Paula, Zane could even give us a few more quests, events. But then it seems to be pretty much. Done and dusted. Nagito wants to still... Oh, I'm actually done with Nagito. Oh. He can go on the marriage pile as well. Debug, marry, Nagito. Debug, marry, uh, Zane. Have I written him right? Oops, sorry, Vivian. Zane, yeah, written him right. I'm not too sure about Irene. Ooh, little home event. Hey, honey, what's up? Oh, hi. Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. No, oh, you're not. Come on, you can tell me anything. Jeez, Piro, you really can read me like a book. It's my mom. Got a letter from her yesterday, and it's bothering me so badly. Called you fat? Oh no, not that. I don't know what you think. It's been almost 20 years since I last heard from her. But suddenly I'm married and she wants to reach out? Huh. Not even to mention, who did she find where... How did she find where we lived? Is there like a marriage registry online or something? Um, maybe? There is, isn't there? I don't want to see her, Piero. Well, I think you should. And I think you're right. I'll write her a letter and send it today or tomorrow or maybe in a week, tops. If I get a response, would you be able to tell me what it is? <sighs> it's only if you don't get, if I don't get to it first. Ah, postal duty is my duty. Thanks, dear. Are you hungry? I can cook us something. Ooh, one of your salads. Mm, that's so nice and crunchy. Thanks again, Piro. You always keep my head on straight. It wasn't me and you can't prove it. Oh, uh, Dr. Zane. Apologies, Piro. I was reading something that I didn't notice you already answered the door. <laughs> oh, So, I'll cut to the chase. I came by to ask if you were available for a date. We've both been busy and so I missed spending time with you. I also have some activity that piqued my interest lately. If you'd care to join me. Oh, what activity? Oh, nothing too bizarre. Ah... Uh, but I'd love it if we can get there to spend some time together. I'd love to. Well then, meet me at the Ridgeside Village Community Center Greenhouse between 6 and 6. I'll be waiting for you, Piro. Good luck with today's work. Thank you. I will do. Now, before I forget, let's also visit Apples. Um, down. Oh, yeah. Eat fruit. Apples! I hope you can bring peaches too. I want you both in my world. Ooh, a newspaper? Or? Yeah, just a newspaper. Hey, peaches. Beep. Hey, apples. 
Fish friend apples, you take. Hey. Is that for what I think it means? I accept. I'll take your mail. Our ceremony. <laughs> Don't be late. I just set him to marry and go. Oh, ancient seed is friend. Um. I don't know. Is he written apple or apples? Darn it. All right. It was apples with an S at the end. What else? Who else? How can I get Juna? All right. So I wrote in read in the wiki about Katarina that you just get your events and then you can she gets pulled back to the city or you marry her. But I never really got a chance to be for her to be available. Hmm. This can be so narrow-minded, supernatural. Can I give you a bouquet? You can't date Katarina. Can I give you a pendant? Isn't it a little too... Yeah, so that doesn't work too. And whatever's supposed to happen at the farm doesn't happen either. Well, trying to go through it. Down in the mines. Oh, hey, Sunshine. Well, you look tooled up and ready. What are you up to, babe? Hmm. Found something in the mines in East Scarp that I didn't recognize. I wanted to see if it was here too. Look like it. What? Actually, since you're here, why don't we make something special out of today? Oh ho, what's your plan? I've asked you before to trust me and... You have. So, well, will you extend it to me again? Maybe. All right, let's get go. Ooh, the elevator ride. Hmm. We've chosen to spend our lives together, and now here we are. There's nothing more beautiful to me than sharing in an experience like this with my spouse. Maybe it's not the most conventional date, but the memorable ones aren't. And I want us to remember this. I want us to look back fondly on tonight. Wait, isn't it the one with this ghost fish? Uh, I'm scared. Come on, honey, let's jump in. Oh, what the heck. Magic bathrobe, hey! I think a bit of intimacy is warranted, don't you? To celebrate everything we've been through together. Uh, you've helped me grow, helped me change, helped me reconnect. You've been great to me, sunshine. Let me be great to you. Oh, uh -huh. I'm shivering already. Water is too cold. I'll keep you warm. Ooh, look, it's already hot and steamy. Hero, being the guild master doesn't compare to being yours. Well, now, handsome, I've been waiting for you. Oh. Put me in the middle of reading once more. I'm glad you're here. Come, look at this. It's a book on basic care of plants. Oh. I've been reading about subjects related to your occupation lately. I know I'm busy or away from the valley oftentimes due to work. So I wanted to make sure when I do get time to be with you, I can be of assistance, even just for the basic stuff. Well, turning on the automatic sprinkler isn't really that part. So I figured we can try harvest some crops. I personally got permission from Blooming Hill Farm and Nightingale Orchard for us to harvest a portion of their crops for them. Just make sure we ship these products under their name. Yeah, we don't want to steal. Hmm, why not do all of this in your farm? Well, I was a bit intimidated to ruin your beautiful crops if ever I made a mistake. But here I already gave the other farmers compensation in advance. <laughs> yeah, you got real faith in me. 
lead you. Well then, shall we harvest some crops? I mean, this is adventurous for the high and mighty educated one. What are all these twos? Oh, this should be fine. Let's go with the bottom of the spade. Uh, look! Just pull them out. So, like this. No, that's just, you know, asking them to marry you. Uh -huh. Look at all these produce from our harvest. These look magnificent. And in you go. Where we stop, nobody know. Ooh, this was fun, Piero. I know this may seem like everyday activity to you, but I enjoyed every second of it. Because it made me feel closer to you. And appreciate your work even harder. So we are sitting now on a wine barrel for the next three years? The actual Farmer Piero money-making experience right now. Well, because we're spending time together is also fun. Oh, I appreciate you doing this with me, Piero. Thank you for this day. No, mm. that was never a good time. Apologies. It seems like work. Give me a sec. Hello, I'm busy here, so you know, please make this quick. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, settle the transaction, schedule the meeting, I'll be there soon. <sighs> Got to buy another business. Apologies, Piro. I think I'm gonna be going for a while. There are some matters to attend to in one of the Amethine owned hotels. Yeah, get a decent manager. You know what? Sell the stuff, give it to them. Give it to the staff, not the manager. I mean, if the staff thinks he does a good job, maybe he can keep his job, but uh, all in all, you know? Hmm. Work shouldn't cut my date with my beloved, right? Do you want to come with me and visit the hotel together for a bit? I promise. It'll be for an hour or two. I'm sure it won't be a problem for them to wait for a little bit. I don't know. Well, I called a private chat to pick us up. What? Zane and I had a bit of fun at one of their hotels afterwards. It was a fun date. I was brought home immediately so I wouldn't miss my work. And so I could destroy the planet by useless flights in a private jet. Darn it. Not only my millions of gold in the bank. I am the 1%. The one who marries all. One who gets lost in the rain. The river. Feeding the fishes. The caviar was bad. Blah! Hey Anton. What you doing? Hey Han. Hey Han. You wanted to build a house tomorrow? Uh. No, thank you. I got a giant house. Haha! I mean, uh, build a cookie house or something like that. Shanice called me and said that they have an extra batch of cookie batter we can use for something. I figured we can make fun with it, you know? Bake a stuff and bake it together. Maybe even try to make a gingerbread house. Paula and Chiara told me simple dates like that would really make someone happy. So? Oh, Anton. Just you being suddenly in love with me as well as Paula. One big happy family. That is what makes me happy. Hmm. We can uh, meet at heaps tomorrow morning. Or noon. Janice said she prepared a bare minimum for us. Ooh. If she knew we the camera, she the bake the cake. Make the cake. Oh, I can ask it. Do you know how to bake? I don't know, so I'm relying on you for this. Uh, okay, I mean, I could try. What's the worst that can happen, right? I'm just messing with you. Of course I know how to. A bit. Maybe? Yeah. 
Ah, come on here, you. Hmm? We are just having fun. Just entering the farm takes so long because all the rooms need to be loaded and all the complaints about all the rooms that are not here. We have six rooms. Sterling, Tabitha, Mike, Riley, Theo and Nagito. Our roomless little critters. Ooh. Oh, I had let it run. Babe, I'm cold. Come on, give me a hug, would you? And maybe something more? Oh, Diana. Oh! Uh... Hi, Bliss. I sense high levels of pheromone. Can I join? No, you cannot. Oh, you pop in the worst time, Bliss. I just finished my mission, you know. Hmm. Gabriel's forces never rest. And neither do our duties die. I know, but... Nothing but... Ah, can't disagree with you there. Now, here. What? We have received intel that a summoner will be attending a party in the Mountain Village Hotel. The mistress wants you to take care of it, utilizing your specialization for this undercover mission. Ooh! A party! Oh, why, why? I must be the classy party some wealthy businessman from G Corporation is throwing. Oh, I do find it quite odd that they'd hold a party in a village where they don't have any property. Yes, Helen has confirmed that all the attendants are all civilians and guests of the hotel. No G Corp staff is confirmed to attend. Hmm. It sounds like the summoner was deployed in order to conduct a terror attack on the civilians and hope so to start chaos, which would make it easier for Gabriel's forces to start another campaign of attacks against this village. You have to do something. But what? G Corporation seems to be connected to this. Well, yes, Gabriella Corporation. Huh? G. I agree. They've been acting really suspicious ever since their former CEO stepped down. Line is Sebastian. What? The followings. Oh. Darn it! Mouse. Well, I trust you know what to do, Dyer. <laughs> Leave it to me. Attending to the party, neutralizing the threat, and bringing them in for you to interrogate. Easy peasy. Glad you're so enthusiastic. Good. I'll be waiting for you on the roof of the hotel. <laughs> You're really happy about this one. Oh, of course I am, honey. Baby, we get to attend the party. And I have just the dress for it. Can't wait for you to see it. And rip it. Oh. Of course we still have the annoying summoner to deal with. But I know this job will be a bit easier with your help. The party is tomorrow night, baby. We'll leave tomorrow at 8 p.m., okay? Um, okay. Oh, can't wait to have the fun. Anger! Come look at this. Well, Anger. It's an invitation from Lenny. It says here. Dear Irene and Piro, I formally invite you both to participate in a small event I cooked up with a cooking competition. Ah, oh, finally, we're gonna stick it to Gus and Pika. You're gonna show them what you learned out in the world. Just a fun little competition for funsies. Of course, there will be judges and prizes to the participants. See you there. Whew. Miss Lenny sure likes to organize surprise events and competitions. 
Uh, we're gonna rock him. What do you say, Langa? Are you up for it? I think it would be fun. How about we even give it a twist? I'll be the sous chef. Like, your assistant this time. I looked up a little bit about the word. Someone who is loved. And it's the range from Ananga or Paranga, so... Ugh. I don't know what language it's for. Ah, uh, etymology. Fun things. And you lead the way, the tasty way. Okay. That was a bad attempt for a pun. Oh, I. Mmm. Uh, Guy Fieri. I'm gonna go all Guy Fieri. No, don't give me blonde tips. Flavor Town, that's the way. I'll show you the way to Flavor Farm. Great, I'll write a letter back to Miss Lenny about joining. She said the event will be starting later tonight from 8 p.m. on so. Well, that leaves us a little time to prepare. Well, that's a fun challenge, right? Sure is. Let's meet up home later. Let's do our best, Langa. Sure, Ringa. <sighs> I understand, Grandmother. And yes, I received the list of contacts. I appreciate the assistance. I'll be coming by tomorrow. Yeah, see you. <sighs> yeah, that was... Everything alright? Oh, it was Grandmother. I asked her to send me the contract information for a certain Amethine executive. I'm going to be visiting some major Amethine businesses tomorrow to see if everything's in order. It's going to be a long travel and expect it to be a tiring one as well. Since I won't be able to stay at one place for a long time. Oh, don't worry. Hey, love. What if... Yes? Propose you come and travel around the world with me. I was worried to leave for the journey because I'd be away from you for such a long period of time. But with this, it's like we're having a travel date. I would love to show you some of the Amethine businesses as well. After all, you're an Amethine now. I can hire some workers to watch over the farm while we're away. So you won't have to worry about work. That'd be fine. Uh, yes? Question mark. Oh, I'm glad. No worries, we've turned into excitement. We'll leave tomorrow at 8 a.m. onwards. All right, love? Uh, all right? Question mark. The day turnover for some reason has dramatically increased. Normally I have every second day for some reason some recalculation went on. And it was like loading a whole new, uh, the game new time, which can take anything between 7 to 8 to 16 to 19 minutes with some other background processes. Fuck the same CPU. Oh, hey, babe. Uh, nothing. Watching a beer, having a bird. Wait, what? The other way around. What's that? Uh, looks like I was dazed out, huh? Oh, my bad. Just thinking about something. That something. You and I the latter chaps you were last Halloween. Hmm, what a cowboy. Uh, but honestly, fun aside. I think I'm just tired. But I'm glad you're here to comfort me. The company alone already lifts me up. You lift the me higher and higher than the Hey, are you busy tonight? I was thinking we'd have a late night stroll and visit the cliff. Yesterday, Jerry told me the moon looks amazing when viewed from the cliff. I wanted to have this date with you, babe. So what do you say? I say we go on the date. Can I see the cliff from Dane's plane? Ow, oh, we get it. Meet you here 8 p.m. onwards, later on. Can't wait to unwind with you. As long as you don't whine about me. 
Um, again? Oh no, it's a different one. I'm off to the city, babe. Don't wait up for me. Make me home late. Love ya. Love you too. Keep safe and, you know, bulletproof west. Kind of fun between every single early morning event. He has to reload all the, the spouse rooms. How's it going, by the way? So we need Katarina and that is about it. I even buried the ones I don't. Yuna... I don't know why it doesn't trigger there. I sh we should be getting a mail after we had the picnic in the forest. Which caused her to move in, but that should have happened like half an in-game year ago. It was after you got 10 hearts with her about two weeks and we are way past that. Oh, hey, Piro. First of all, I gotta say, you look really cute this early in the morning. Oh, you're making me blush, my Italian stallion. Anyway, I got some news. The Amethyst Puddler, Mr. Sonny, was it? He was buying stuff on the store the other day. He mentioned how the madame was looking for collaborators for one of her charities that would involve constructing a public center. Well, construction needs architects, right? Well, it's amazing. Although... Vitamin B, I mean, the Corruption Bureau will be all up in her case. Too bad the lead investigation is headed by one P. Amethyne. Hmm, I wonder if they find something. I know, I know, it sounds like a chance for me to redeem myself. But honestly, I'm a bit intimidated. So uh, it's uh, fine with you, uh, wouldn't you mind... Uh... Oh, can you accompany me to a visit their mansion? I feel like I'm going to crumble before reaching their doors if I go alone. Ah, oh, my little pasta spaghetti is falling all to bits. Now he's going all twisted up like the Fusolini. I... I make you into a little nice meatball. You're fine with it, really? Oh, scusi, Piero. Not scusi, scusi was in... Apologies. Oh, my brain once again. Help. Italian, thank you. Bene? I think it was Bene. Okay, I'll see you at the village between the 6 and 8 p.m. Hey, Irene. Good morning, Piero. I hope I didn't come in a bad time. But yeah, that's, that's already all the relationship, all the dates, all the... Wedding stuff, all a little bit mixed up. I know I'm only in town for a few more days, so I wanted to ask if you'd like to go on a date with me tonight. Just a simple one. No need to get ready too much. Just wanted well to spend more time with you. Man, it is, the entire second half of this episode is just one giant cliffhanger. Just one date after the other gets started and then... Yeah, well, if you want to see how everything continues... Watch tomorrow, because I married the last few people who weren't married to me. Oh, that was cheesy, wasn't it? Oh, yes, it was. But hey, it's true. So, meet me at the Lock Cabin Hotel tonight at 8 p.m. sharp, right? Oh, it's going to be an overnight stay, so make sure you finish your work beforehand, Piero. I think most of them will be... <laughs> okay, see you there. Squeak, squeak. Uh, oh, 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 res, res Modius, Mobius. Come meet me at the beach after dark, oh, and bring a baby suit. I know I'll be wearing mine. Eee! You can go back into the water, it's nice. Everything's going well on the farm, thank you for the tangerine, madam. Dolores, thank you for the response, I found you by scouring through marriage registries online, yes. Oh. Actually, that's what she did. I don't know who Piero is, but they sound like a very charming person. Do they earn a lot of money? Um, can, can, can you? Your half-brother and I have recently fallen on some hard times, and it's hard to pay the bills. If you love me and miss me like you say you do, you would help us financially in addition to giving us a place to stay. 
If you won't, then I will no longer please think about this, surely. Oh, well, there's the drama. And like pretty much all the other drama. It won't wait until today. Dolores! I mean, we got the money. And they are family, even if they're all kind of, you know, leeches. Never, I mean, what are they just doing? Oh no, we have... I mean, plot-wise, it seems pretty weak. Hi, honey. Beauty pie, what's up? So, if you haven't met them for... Oh, I can't remember, there's two characters. He contact her first. No. Dolores got the, the letter out of the blue, which means she was just, you know, browsing through the web, looking up for her daughter in the marriage registry in the hopes to find a source of money. I mean, it's very convenient from the timing point of view. I have this letter for you and you won't be happy. What's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. Yeah, we need to build another annex to the building. I mean, we got slimes, demons, and three children, so... What's a little bit more? Oh, I've got a letter from my mom. Can I see it? Um... Oh. Marriage registry. Lots of money. Uh, you can actually see in the, in the display how how the smile fades, the eyes slightly close. Half brother, hard times. Uh, surely, my mother's not called Shirley. Her name was Doreen. Well, damn, my mom's a narcissist. Well... That alone doesn't make you a narcissist, but it's a good start. You know, I should have seen this coming. Huh. No bother. Screw her! Whoa! I know I'm a whole box full of surprises. But I didn't need her in my life for the past 20 years or so. Why would I need her now? If anything, this makes it easier. Thank you for bringing the letter to me, sweetie pie. Really appreciate it. Now it's time to move on to more important things. Yeah, sometimes you gotta be coming. A little waifu? He got family problems you wouldn't believe, and I thought, thought yeah, well, at least they're family. I mean, it can't be all that bad, and even I. I now think, yeah, you know what? It's probably good for you to stay away from those people. I mean, a school colleague of mine, he left the country and changed his name. Because of his glorious, loving, and not at all overbearing abusive family. So, what are you hungry for today? I can make you anything. Mm. Protein pancakes. Doublet juggle chip and a nice oh not straw everybody take strawberry a raspberry yogurt what I want well there were a lot of dark times and you know what I have to end it for today already recorded two episodes so yeah sorry for about it's a giant cliffhanger. There's nothing else I can say about it. Other than, I hope you stay safe and I hope you have fun and... Yep. A lot of things to do. I'm really mostly interested in how the Archer thing goes by. And maybe Katarina can buy it. Return. And I got the final spouse. I really look forward to having a parade down the hallway of doom. Which then leads to a mass divorce for absolutely everybody and the last we will keep, funnily enough, will be 
Lucy kill. Because then the camera is no longer in the way. Wait. Maybe the first one I divorce will be Haley, since then the camera will be gone. And that should give me well I should be able to then have the event with Luzekiel. Sadly the final event with Mike is a no go. Ah oh, well what can you do? Alright. Good night. Bye bye. <laughs>